Hi, this is Scott, and this is the third video. Um, this is the third story of Pine Grove, California, and it's called The History of the Failed Shopping Center. Um, this is a shopping center on the edge of town. I think it was built like in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, you know, it kind of had some empty storefronts. It looked a lot newer when I first lived here. I moved back, and you know, they get a couple of tenants here and there, and but you know i mean it, i don't know if the video really portrays it but you know i mean it's you know it's just kind of like it's a little bit run down and i don't really know what the future of this holds um there's a lot of business complexes like this and little mini shopping centers where uh, somebody would go in and they would build the center and you might get a few tenants in but then it would never really fill up and then they'd go on hard times and before you know it um, you've got a bunch of just basically abandoned uh, business buildings uh, most of the business complexes in town have at least one empty storefront um, if you go up country a few miles in red corral i know there's a certain amount of buildings which are just about all together abandoned i guess the difference between this and the new center is i can't imagine these places improving once we get the big uh the big dollar general which in my opinion and just based on my perceptions and just looking at the lot itself is going to greatly expand uh what's going to happen to the rest of the town and all these little business complexes it's hard to say you know um i really hope they continue um you know obviously there's some businesses in here but you know it's just uh hard to say um I really think that places like this are, you know, going to start looking pretty rough in a couple of years and eventually uh, they'll probably fall to rot and abandon. If you own this building, I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, I really think that the big difference between complexes like this and the new strip mall, which is proposed, uh, which I think will become a strip mall, is that's going to be a bunch of big box stores and they've got, you know, all the money in the world to basically develop something and sit on it until it succeeds and advertise it uh don't a lot of local businesses don't have that same advantage you know just on a side note uh because i was told last week like i said uh, i mentioned this in the first video the final deal is only a matter of days from being signed off it sounds like they really just want to get the store in i think there's a lot of politicians and a lot of people in america who really go out of their way to say, you know, we support small business, we support small businessmen. That's what the American dream is all about. But, you know, they turn around and then they just take the money of the big box store, they sign off on the big box store, and then they go to Walmart every weekend and they forget about it. Um, you know, as far as towns all over the United States, small towns are dying off and then they got the big Walmart on the edge of town and everyone's like, well, why doesn't our downtown come back? You know, you go down to Jackson just a few miles down the road, I don't think their Main Street's ever gonna come back. Um, and there's a lot of towns like Jackson all over the United States. Um, at what point are people gonna really consider that it's local businesses that are unique and interesting and this is what draws people to the area? Um, this is primarily a retirement community. Uh, a lot of seniors living on fixed incomes. If you get any influx of money from tourism tourists don't go to walmart tourists don't go to dollar general stores tourists don't go to big shopping centers um you know it's just those aren't tourist attractions even something like this might have a store a knickknack store that really just has something that might interest people that they can't find anywhere else because that's just the nature of a local store um with a local business person but I think as far as Pine Grove, um, I think it's going to be a lot tougher to be a local businessman. I think as far as jobs, um, maybe you get a job owning your own business or working for a local businessman. Um, in the future, all you're probably going to get are minimum wage jobs um, at the big box outlets. So anyways, thanks for watching. This is my three videos and you know, you can uh, expect the worst and hope for the best. but. You know, based on my experiences and the way things go and with money and with just the manner in which it's all gone down, um, I really think that the county itself is just kind of 
ready to just throw Pine Grove to the wolves and the people along with it. And I really hope people who have been quiet or have been challenging, you know, the bad intention of the shopping center really understand the consequences of uh, what it means to this small town and any small town they live in. Thanks for watching and have a great day.